symbolizes opportunity to learn, uh, to be independent with uh, our film ideas and technical equipment. Being in a big country uh, like Germany, it is not that easy to get into film, uh, media or TV productions uh, since there are a lot of criteria that could be uh, demanding. Uh, so for us it symbolizes how uh, we have a freedom and opportunity to learn and to be professional uh, in, a, in, in sharing our knowledge and um, I think that's one of the biggest um, yeah, motivations that we have to work together. Um, since we are all still young and uh, we are still learning, I think it's a great opportunity that we come together and that we are able to make uh, productions. Um, so it symbolizes a platform uh, where we can share our voices, our opinions, and uh, we can create something together. I would say the Western world has been able to bring women into the limelight, especially in film productions and uh, entertainment in general. I will talk only on what I am versed with, entertainment. But this is not the case in where I come from, Cameroon. This is not the case. Uh, the, the technical aspect in productions has been a man's issue. That is why you have uh, 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 some names who always remain Kamaraman. You hardly hear of Kamarawoman, sound man, light man. So everything is always referred to as man, man, man. But uh, for the sake of um, uh, 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 the sustainability of productions in general and for a fair treatment, I think uh, I want to, 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 to give a thanks also to Bamenda Film School who is doing everything possible to break this boundary when they started uh, the All Girls Project to train uh, ladies who are passionate to be technicians and administrators in film productions, such that we can have a production set where it's managed by the ladies. Not that we want to, we, we are doing a war or something to, to, to take over the industry and hand over to the girls, that's not the issue. What we're just trying to do is we, we want to, to, to remove that stigma because there are, there are so many ladies who just believe the camera is for men. The sound is for men. The woman cannot hold that boom. I've been holding the boom here. Yeah, I know it's difficult. It's man tasking. Yeah, but it doesn't mean a woman cannot do it. Because there are so many things a woman does that a man cannot do. So I respect a woman a lot for she has strength more than a man, but most of the times they want to shy behind because they don't know who they are or what they have to offer. We, cr we create a space uh, with ensuring that um, people from different places in the world are treated equally. And um, that is the most important aspect of Global We since we are young uh, media and film participants who really have an, a big interest in what we're doing. And um, so we do our best to make the workshops, to make what we have available for everybody who comes and we do not uh, discriminate uh, people regarding or based from on where they come from or what is their skin color.
as a filmmaker, we, we believe in global learning, and we cannot talk of global learning without movements. That means I, as a filmmaker, I am supposed to travel freely without any stress as a filmmaker. I'm supposed to have these free movements in and out of my country. If I want to tell a story that has to relate to other countries, or if I have to do studies or whatever out of my country, I'm not supposed to have uh, these barriers. The injustices of uh, COVID-19 still take place in, in different parts of the world. Um, and I find a lot of, um, I find it very unfair that uh, people who live in Germany, as whether you're a German citizen or not, if you were able to travel and to uh, learn or visit your family or even continue your uh, study program online, that was a big advantage of living in the north, living in a country that was uh, creating the ideal conditions to continue through the pandemic in a safer way. However, I know that our counterparts in Paminda Film School were not able to travel to Germany uh, to make an exchange program with our media team. And I find that uh, as an example of the inequality that happened between Germany and Cameroon. For sure, even if they were e able to get their uh, travel documents uh, settled down, if they were able to uh, even buy a ticket to come here, they were not able to travel because of the travel restrictions applied from the uh, German government. I would say Corona is not an, uh, it was not an African outbreak disease. This originated out of Africa. Africans, yes, were restricted from moving out of Africa for various reasons. Maybe you could uh, contract the disease. But now, I got it at that level, but uh, I really got a little bit disturbed. Where I don't have this understanding is, why should I be stopped from going, but there are people coming? Insofar as they want to protect me, if I say they are, they are refusing to call me to protect me, if they want to protect me not to go, and uh, be, be, be uh, 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 contracted with this disease, the first way they should protect me is to stop those who are coming in. But if you say people are coming in and I can't go out, then I find a problem there. There I find this issue of discrimination. In general, the German government uh, immediately offered uh, economical schemes to help uh, freelancers, families and companies uh, because of the lockdown. Uh, this was um, different ways of help, like the Corona Health uh, was mostly to individuals and families. Uh, there was Sofort Health uh, for freelancers and uh, Kurzgeld Arbeit that was uh, aimed for companies and small businesses. Uh, so I find that very um, urgent and uh, it was a good step to make from the state um, for sure to ensure that the people here will be safe during the lockdown, uh, which was not possible in, uh, in different countries. Uh, however, I think the unjust or the unfair side of this help was that not everybody was able to demonstrate uh, to the German government that they are in need of this help. Um, and so not everybody was able to get into this help and structures and bureaucracy of, uh, of yeah, requesting this help. Ce n'est pas possible. Ne 
Parce que le vieux ne m'a touché qu'une seule fois. Et ce jour, il s'est protégé. Tu comprends pourquoi ce n'est pas possible Je ne veux pas placer tous les blames sur le gouvernement européen. Je veux regarder mon propre gouvernement. Qu'est-ce que mon gouvernement a fait pour redémarrer cette situation Il y a beaucoup d'opportunités que nous pouvons prendre juste dans le Cameroun. Or if we say uh, opportunities where uh, uh, the government itself can send people and vouch for these people that these are my people I'm sending to gain this knowledge. But we have the government that thinks more of themselves than of the people.